Does one have to do istikhara on marriage suitors he or she does not like at all? The answer is no. Did you hear what I said? Istikhara is when you are confused. If you are not confused, you don't need to do istikhara. Right? Or if you do istikhara, Allah will not just show you a dream or something. People rely on dreams more than they rely on reality. You said in the dua, Oh Allah, if this is good for me, make it easy for me and give me barakah in it. If this is bad for me, take it away from me, take me away from it and make me happy with your decision. So if Allah closes the doors one after the other, that is the response of your istikhara. Allah closed the door. And if Allah opens the doors one after the other, that is the response of your istikhara. You want a job and you make istikhara and the next day you get a phone call to say, you know, we are doubling up the offer we have and the salary is now going to be doubled. Is that a positive or a negative sign? Positive sign. It's Allah telling you, you made istikhara, come, we are showing you a good sign, go for it. Subhanallah. So, if you really don't want the job, what's the point of doing an istikhara? If you really don't want to marry the person, that's it, it's over. You can't say, ah, your mother of my children, I didn't want to marry you, but I did istikhara, it came positive, I married you. So now just live with me, sit here. That's when you have the problem of that two-year intimacy, la ilaha illallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. So I hope that has clarified that particular question.